So one of the biggest barriers to entry for folks looking to do their own lawn is they have to overcome fear. Fear of burning the lawn when they fertilize it, fear of striping it or whatever else there might be out there. And also buying a piece of equipment that's about $100 or a little more can be a little bit daunting. And so that put together keeps a lot of people from taking action. So today I'm gonna to show you a much simpler, easier way, foolproof way to fertilize a lawn, even the size of mine, which is about 8,500 square feet using one of these. So while my lawn is overall 8,500 square feet, it's actually broken up by sidewalks and a driveway and everything else. It's broken into smaller sections that are between 2,000 and 2,500 square feet, which each of those sections alone is perfect for this solution. So before you begin any lawn program, the first thing you wanna do is measure your lawn. Knowing how big the lawn is, especially by sections, is the key to unlocking easy fertilizer applications. Now you can measure your lawn for free in my app called Yard Mastery, or you could walk it off yourself. I recommend you do both. Length times width gives you square footage, and as you can see, I have mine broken down into logical sections. All right, this little hand crank spreader here, this can be found at pretty much any big box store, Ace. They are pretty much made all in the same factory. I'll give you a link below to one that's very similar to this right here. But let me show you why I really like this and what makes it so easy when it comes to fertilizing your lawn with it. So I put the hand crank spreader on a scale, zeroed out the weight of the spreader itself, and filled it up with double dark. You know what the spreader holds? Six pounds. If you fill it up with flagship, same thing, about six pounds. And if you fill it up with stress blend, same thing again, about six pounds. It's that way with all of these ferts. So you see right there, 18 pound bag covers 6,000 square feet. What you can do is you can find out what's called the application rate by taking 18 divided by six and you get three. What that's telling you is, is three pounds of this product covers 1,000 square feet. That's the application rate. Because this spreader holds six pounds, it holds twice that amount, that's 2,000 square feet. And you'll see all the Yard Mastery fertilizers are the same way. 18 pound bag covers 6,000 square feet. 18 pound bag covers 6,000 square feet. I formulated them all to be that way so it would stay consistent. And that's why this is so easy. All you really have to do is fill her up a heaping helping. That's gonna be six pounds. And now you got enough loaded here to cover 2,000 square feet. Now you can see why dividing your lawn up into sections is so important because that's what makes this whole strategy dead nuts simple. So it's as simple as that. Take any Yard Mastery fertilizer, fill up a heaping helping, and I put this on the highest setting available because I want maximum spread for maximum enjoyment. Now as far as burning the lawn, there's absolutely nothing to fear here. There isn't even enough fertilizer in this small spreader to burn anything unless you spill it. But really, you'll see once you start cranking and walking, your instincts will take over and you'll be able to spread like a pro in no time. There's something about having it all in your hands. You can see very well, you get good instant feedback and you can control how wide or narrow the vert goes. It's really simple to hit narrow areas, corners or thin strips. And again, because you're controlling the spread by cranking, you have ultimate control. And best of all, you won't have to measure anything anymore. You just fill it all the way up to the top and you know, 2,000 square foot of coverage, locked and loaded. So the last thing to wrap this up, you're gonna ask me, who do I recommend this for? Well, if your lawn is under 10,000 square feet and mostly divided up into sections that are 2,000 or maybe 3,000 square feet each, this is perfect. If you have a lawn that's bigger or you have a stretch of lawn that's maybe five or 6,000 in one spot, I would say then you're just gonna need to stick with a traditional push spreader. But again, if you have a lawn like mine, 8,500 total broken up into small sections, this is perfect. And this is probably what you're gonna see me using through most of the season coming up. And again, because I'm always looking for ways for beginners to be able to, to get into DIY lawn care without fear. And I think that this is a great way to do it. With that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned a little something. Leave me some comments or questions below, and I'll see you in the lawn.